Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. As promised, I'm here at Universal Orlando Resort, specifically Universal Studios Florida. I had actually tried to start my vlog out there, but I must have pressed the wrong button. I actually messed it up because they have the uh, giant inflatable from uh, the uh, parade. I got here literally just on time because here it comes right now, the Universal Holiday Parade, or as I called it last year, Universal's Christmas Day Parade or Christmas Parade. My bad. So, with that being said, let's enjoy. I'm going to pause it for now until they get a little closer. And just in case I forgot to say it earlier, this is the opening night, November 17th.
got some time before the next group gets here.
season to be joyful. actually a concert tonight at 7 o'clock and uh, for those of you who are wondering when the other concerts are there's another one on the 24th the 1st of December 8th 15th and then of course after that we'll be on Sundays on the 18th the 25th so tomorrow on the 25th of November in other words and then December the 2nd the 9th and the 16th and of course the uh, holiday parade goes all the way until early January, but tonight, November the 17th, is the opening night of this and the holiday parade. Christmas at the uh, Islands of Adventure, Bridgemas, and I believe also you can go over to Diagon Alley and see the Christmas decorations over there as well. I already do have Christmas decorations up over at um, Islands of Adventure, the um, Seuss Lane and the whatever you call it, Hogsmeade area. I kind of pointed that out last time I did a vlog. So we at least know that much. And as soon as I can get past this uh, parade, I'm going to show you guys the uh, giant Christmas tree that they have in the park, which I actually saw last weekend during my birthday weekend. There you go, guys. There's the Christmas tree. And you can hear Santa talking. I guess they're kind of stolen. This is honestly the best area to watch the parade, but I didn't think that I would get over there on time. I think I must have let us off a whole bunch of confetti. But then again, what do I know? Oh, they did just let us some confetti. Yep, I was right. Yeah, I love this area because they had the confetti cannons on the roof. It's kind of cool. Very, very unique. So of course this whole area has got Christmas decorations too. So pretty. Christmas is by far my favorite day of the year. Hands down. Like, I like it more than my own birthday. Which, so everybody's supposed to say that their birthday is one of their favorite days of the year, but Christmas is definitely my day. Look at Hufflepuff. I love Hufflepuff, especially being one myself. Okay, then uh, give me one second and I'm gonna try to go around this. So, as you guys can see, I'm trying to do my entire Christmas, um, Universal's Christmas celebration vlog all in one. I will only do a separate vlog for the Mannheim Steamroller, considering that I have a huge gap between now and the time Mannheim Steamroller performs. So, that will be its own vlog, but. Everything that you have been seeing, the parade, all the Christmas decorations, and including the ones over in Diagon Alley over here, will be featured in this vlog, which is called What's New at Universal This Week, Universal's Holiday Parade, and Uni Christmas decorations. And I'm sitting here in the middle. But to be trampled here. I really should be looking ahead of me instead of trying to look ahead of me and at the camera. I guess Tim was here yesterday, and unfortunately, I did not know that they were doing anything yesterday. I bet it was just for the media. And I bet I could have gotten here too if I actually had brought a change of clothes with me. Because I had a very short day at work, but that's okay. I was just happy to go home and rest. I gotta say 12 hours is good last night. Felt great. Now I'm gonna try to get beyond this next crowd. 
So as you can tell by the amount of people in front of me, there is definitely a lot more people here than usual. Because I know in the past few years I've done this, I know that this last year is the first year I have ever vlogged this, but I don't remember it ever being this congested. Like back there, it was like stop, go, stop, go, like I-4. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. But I'm almost to Diagon Alley now. I'm just passing over by Fast and the Furious, which is at a 30 minute wait. And you know it's busy when Fast and the Furious has that wait, considering it's one of the worst rides Universal has ever designed. All right guys, I've officially made it to the Diagon Alley area. You can see all the Christmas decorations that is up. Same as last year. It's always very pretty. I already just got these for now. But um, I'm gonna come back later and try to take more pictures when it's not so busy. <laughs> Maybe I'll let it die down a little bit while I'm here in, in here in Diagon Alley. You never know. Yeah, watching uh, The Crimes of Grindelwald definitely got me in the Harry Potter mood. Which was definitely one of the most confusing Harry Potter movies I've seen to date. But it was cool how they mixed it more of Harry Potter. I kind of liked it a little better than Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, but only a little bit better. Both were amazing in their own way. Alright, into Diagon Alley we go. All right, all the Christmas decorations are up. The first is, you guys remember, last year was the very first year that Universal ever got the rights from J.K. Rowling. Rowling, I should say, to even decorate the Wizarding World for Christmas. And this area, as usual, is very busy. I still remember when my cousin was a manager over here and he got special permission to walk through here when it was dead empty. I could just imagine how exciting that would have been. This was the only land I did not come into last week. In between Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade, I like this one better. But that's just me though. And the funny thing is I come in here all the time. Maybe I just think Diagon Alley is better designed. I don't know. This smells better in here too. And I love it when the dragon lights up. Like it starts to bring him in a fire, in other words. I don't even know what the uh, wait time is like for Ring Gods. Usually, if it's a long wait, I think it's probably just as bad. I wouldn't be surprised. And honestly, if I don't even get to ride anything tonight, it's not a big deal. I came here to vlog, and that's what I'm going to do. Here's a helpful tip from Tim. I don't usually go up there because I don't mind the crowds so much. I've been dealing with them my whole life. But you can watch all the Diagon Alley practically from right there on those steps. That's what it was designed for, just to kind of chill out, relax, get away from the crowds. It's kind of nice. So it looks like the Escape from Green Gods is currently at a 45 minute wait. So single rider is probably about 20 right now. Usually single rider is always half of that time. I could ride this without going to a locker if I put this jacket on that I brought with me because it's supposed to get a little cooler out later. Right now it still feels fine, so I guess we'll see what happens. It is only a little after six still. And there's some more decorations over here, which is kind of nice. I think I'm going to wait until I get back out of Diagon Alley. It's busier in here than it is out there. <laughs> Yep, lots and lots of Christmas decorations. I love the wreath. I already got my butter beer last week, so it won't be the end of my uh, world if I don't get to uh, do another one tonight. Besides, I don't want to pull any more money. And anyway, I spent all that money just for my brother, my dad, and I to go see a movie. Granted, he did pay me back, but I didn't know the uh, transaction was going to take forever to process either, considering I made the transaction like a few days ago, like three days ago, and it only just now processed today. So I'm like, oh, goody. I know someone that... Uh, it's part of the uh, singing band she is and she usually is right up there on that stage. Right now, people can be up there, but if there was a uh, show going on at any time, mm -mm. of course you will never find any Coca-Cola freestyle machines here in the Wizarding World. 
due to the fact that I would ruin the show because, as you guys remember from the Wizarding World, Harry Potter, or just the Harry Potter movies, I should say, you would never see anything like that. So they do a great job theming this area. It makes me very happy that they do, too. All right, we're going to exit now. So once again, I am back out here with all the uh, Christmas decorations. And I'm just about to uh, end my vlog. It's a little quieter out here than it was. I'm gonna go see what the uh, wait time is like for a minute block. And then um, by that point, I should be able to go get a spot for the uh, Mannheim Steamroller concert. And by that point, I probably could hop on maybe one more ride before I leave for the night. So that being said, you guys, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ's strength with you. Have a great day. Peace out.